The hobbit jumped nearly out of his skin when the hiss came in his ears and he suddenly saw the pale eyes sticking out at him. Who, who are you? he said, thrusting the dagger out in front of him. What is he, my precious? whispered Gollum, who always spoke to himself through never having anyone else to speak to. That, this is what he had come to find out, for he was not really very hungry at the moment, only curious. Otherwise, he would have grabbed first and whispered afterwards. I... Um, Mr. Bilbo Baggins, I, I, I have lost the dwarves and, I'm, and I have lost the wizard and I don't know where I am and I, I don't want to know if only I can get away. What's he got in his hands, is? said Gollum, looking at the sword, which he did not quite like. Uh, a, a, a sword, a, a blade, which, which came out of Gondolin, <laughs> said Gollum and became quite polite. Perhaps you sit here and chat with little bits of my precious. It likes riddles, perhaps, does it? Does it? He was anxious to appear friendly, at any rate for the moment, until he found out more about the sword and the hobbit, whether he was quite alone really, whether he was good to eat, and whether Gollum was really hungry. Riddles were all he could think of. Asking them, and sometimes guessing them, had been the only game he had ever played with other funny creatures sitting in their holes in the long, long ago before he lost all his friends and was driven away alone and crept down, down into the dark under the mountains. Very well, said Bilbo, who was anxious to agree, until he found out more about the creature whether he was quite alone, whether he was fierce or hungry, and whether he was a friend of the goblins. Uh, you ask first, he said, because he had not had time to think of a riddle. So Gollum hissed. What has roots as nobody sees is taller than trees. Up, up it goes and it never grows. Oh, it's easy, said Bilbo. Mountain, I suppose. Does it guess easy? I must have a competition with us, my precious. If precious asks and it doesn't answer, we eat it, my precious. If it asks us and we doesn't answer, then we does what it wants, eh? We shows it the way out, yes? All right, said Bilbo, not daring to disagree, and nearly bursting his brain to think of riddles that could save him from being eaten. <laughs>